<laughs> we decided to remove the plastics, the buckets, to give the rifles a chance to explode the concrete. Uh, with this plastic around, it's just there might be a chance the bull's just gonna go straight, but it won't explode the concrete from inside out. So that's what we're gonna do. Stay tuned. No, record me. Okay, go. I'm stay tuned. No, go on. <laughs> Operation 101. Oh, Operation 101. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the science channel first things first if you haven't subscribed Please make sure you are subscribed and give this video a thumbs up because you know It's gonna be a good one when you have three rifles stuck in concrete So last time the pistols did really good Everyone liked that video. So we decided to stick an AR-15 in the concrete an AK-47 in the concrete and the same shotgun We've been kind of torturing sent to us by gun prime. Thank you so much gun prime for sending this to us I'm gonna use a slug one ounce slug to uh, destroy this and then the 762 by 39 and a 556 round. The good thing with this, I stuck them about uh, halfway through. So um, the, <coughs> the bolt areas are free to cycle. So if one round doesn't do it, we can go the second round if we wanted to. If in, in case the uh, barrel doesn't explode or whatever happens. So it's gonna be interesting. Enough talking, let's get to shooting. Okay. Let's do AR first. Yeah. I'm gonna put this here to see if a bullet does come out of this one, if it will damage the uh, if it will damage the cinder block. How many? Yeah, that's a good question. How many? Quantos? I don't know. Ah. Quantana, Guadita, Quantana, Santana. That's pretty ready. I'm ready. You're born ready. Yes. When I born, when I born, the doctor said to my mom, Ah, this guy is ready. <laughs> <laughs> We are ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Okay, one, two, three. Fire the hole. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't shoot. Okay, test firing. Ready? I'm ready. Into the ground. Cycles works perfectly fine and I forgot to tell you guys this is the M&P Smith & Wesson I have a bunch of these and they've always worked really good for me. They're not too expensive decent price If you are into a market for AR-15, it's a good choice. I never had a problem with them I put some uh, clear tape so that the concrete doesn't go inside these little uh, holes So in case it does survive, I still have a good rifle Okay, that's it for this. Let's see uh, yeah, nothing happened to the to the muzzle. Everything looks good. Looks like the bullet ejected almost. Yeah, it, this part came out if I'm not mistaken. There's the plastic and it cut that in half. Did anything happen to the concrete here? Nothing. Well, it didn't destroy it. So the bullet got messed up right inside the concrete and it split this other concrete open. So nothing happened, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have hurt you, honestly, I want to say, because nothing happened to the surface of this. So you'll be good. Yeah. Uh. 7.62 by 39. How many do I have? Two? Two is enough. Just one. Well, <coughs> oh, you never that's know. Cabron, you never know. We never know. All right, we are chambering around. Okay, here we go. Fire in the hole. One, two, three. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Same thing. Huh? Thank God, looks okay. There should be one more round in here. The muzzle looks okay for me to fire one more round. Let's go, you ready? Yes, wait. Okay. Okay, last medanias. Clear. Here's the rifle. 
nothing happened again I taped off the clear tape so the concrete doesn't go in here in case I want to clean this up later and still make it work and nothing happened the rod looks okay the muzzle everything's good you clean this bad boy up and you'll never know it was in concrete what if you put the whole thing in concrete you just drop it on concrete dump concrete all over it wow <laughs> yeah wow right well wow. oh nothing happened to this one nothing so the bullet is just disintegrating inside that concrete and uh, <coughs> it's not coming out you would have survived this not bad at all interesting result i would have thought the bullet would have came we both guessed the bullet was gonna come out and then go forward right yeah because we didn't we didn't leave uh, it was only about like this much space two three in the, inches yeah about like three four inches so we thought it's gonna come out and then just go straight and destroy something but nothing that bullet is just disintegrating right inside oh this one's gonna be interesting Ugh. So we let this uh, cure, this concrete, in case you are into this kind of stuff. It said if uh, about a seven days, it'll have about a 7,000 PSI of a pressure. So. Okay, we are ready. We are rock and roll ready. Just ready, you wanna put your camera on? Let's go. One, two, Three, fire in a hole! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what's a good thing? Huh? We, the good thing is, we don't have to um, <coughs> try to break this concrete to take the rifles out. They all came out. <laughs> yeah, they all came Okay. And nothing happened. Bo, After all this, yeah. This one destroyed uh, multiple pieces. This one uh, broken a lot more pieces. Yes. But nothing happened to the uh, cinder block again here. So what did we learn today, Science Channel? Well, the the. Uh, if you put them in there, you'll be safe. You can stand in front of it. Not gonna destroy you. Look at that. Nothing even hit the other uh, cinder block. Yeah. Right. Science Channel. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a double thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Let's go.